Hello everybody, B. Squigglehausen here, Jay from Upside Up Productions, and right now with me I've got a new 2014 LEGO City set. This is the 60058 SUV with Watercraft. This comes a brand new 2014 set, comes with 219 pieces, too many figures, and costs $20 here in the US. It's a nice addition to the Great Vehicles sub theme, so let's get this review on the road by checking out the minifigures. And here they are. You get two really nice minifigures here, a little bit plain, but I mean, they're pretty cool. On the left, you got a nice guy, red hair, smiley face with a wetsuit, which is a cool print. On the right, you have a blue hat, kind of boring aviator glasses, which I'm not a huge fan of, a cool tank top surfing man uh, torso, and blue pants. Both of these figures have very nice back printing with the wetsuit having a zipper and some more like color blotches and the tank top continuing its print to kind of sell the whole tank top effect rather than just be like printed sh shirt. Those aviators there, uh, not a huge huge fan of, they're very old in city and I like them in certain applications like helicopter pilot or airline pilot or some aviator or like a truck driver or something. But here, I don't honestly think going on jet skis would be great if, unless you want to lose your nice sunglasses. So I'll probably substitute that head out for something else. Uh, apart from that though, these are pretty good figures. They do come with these life jackets as well. Uh, if you want to see them with them on, check out the intro to this video. Um, and that's about it for the minifigures. Now onto the jet skis. So these jet skis are pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, they're definitely a pretty simple design, only a few pieces. Both of them are identical, except for the color. They're built the exact same way. If you spin around, you definitely get the sleek jet ski sort of profile and look. You can see uh, the orange accent details on the white body. Of course, the other one is lime green. You can also see a whole bunch of stickers all over this to give it a little bit of extra detail and to really make it pop. Right there, you've got a little gap there, which I looked on some reference pictures of jet skis and watercraft like this, and it's definitely there. And if you look in here, you can definitely get a good look. This dashboard below the handles would be pretty hard to look at, but the boat currently is going 73 somethings per something, probably miles per hour or something. You got a little jets there at the back, which are simulated by a cool bracket piece, which is nice to have. And now here's the other one here, you can see they are exactly the same, and the stickers and colors are different. The one on the left is of course extreme, it says, 160 horsepower, which is pretty powerful for something that small, but uh, I mean, there's not really much to say other than that. Let's take a look at them on the trailer now, and honestly, without the jet skis on the trailer, I don't show that, but it's a pretty blank slab, so it definitely looks a lot better with the watercraft slash jet skis on. As we move around, you can pretty much just see that it's just a thick bit of Lego, really. Uh, it's got a pointy front with some gas barrels and things on it right there, just to fuel up the watercraft jet skis. Uh, around the back, of course, you got your license plate and your brake lights turn signals. The two jet skis are eight studs wide on top, and the big wheels do also uh, poke out. Now these wheels are very, very nice. I'm very excited for these to start getting into more city sets. They have much thinner tires, they don't stick out as far, and they're really good in regular city cars. They look a bit strange on this. I'm just going to pull one off to show you them up close. You see there's a little bit of tire tread, but they've got an industrial side, which I'd honestly have put on, but these really match well with the wheels on the SUV itself. So I mean, that's about it. The trailer, it's pretty plain. I'm very excited to have those wheels. I'm probably gonna figure out a way that I can substitute them for a different set of wheels, uh, just to be able to cannibalize those for a city car. So I mean, it's not really too, too special. It definitely serves its purpose as a vehicle to yank those uh, watercraft jet skis around on. Here's the SUV, which I think is much better. So you can see it does not use the standard city wheels. It just uses giant ones, which is really kind of cool and unique. Uh, around the front, I mean, not really much to show. It's got a cool little step on the side, uh, rear view mirrors around the back. You can see the license plate, which I've ruined the sticker placement of. Oh well. Uh, it's a little bit short in this back area. It looks like it would only have two doors, which is a bit strange for an SUV, but I mean, oh well. You can't really complain about this. It's a really nice looking vehicle though, just in general. Uh, from the front, obviously you can see the license plate on the front, light bar on the top, made out of two separate little pieces, so you can, if you really want to, make it a small narrow one, I guess. But as we stay on the front, you can see it does have a grill, no sticker, anything here, I'll just stick these two right back on. 
and I mean it's a really cool vehicle around here you see back I mean review mirrors here it would be nice if they had one of those one by one round silver tiles on there to actually be like the reflective surface of the mirror now that we're on the front you can see um, grill tiles covered by a two-part little bumper piece and of course the little bumper guard on there which is nice to see definitely adds to the heavy-duty look uh, around the back tow hitch there resulting meaning you have a split bumper on the sides I don't really if you can really see it blends into the stand a little bit but they're cool little side skirt step things on there now I really like the black and gray color scheme of this it's a really bad guy vehicle and even though it's like all innocent in its purpose in the set it's definitely like a bad guy car it's big off-road heavy-duty you can leave the cops behind and of course it's black and gray which is not a really exciting color scheme Lego usually tosses in some red or anything but not this one and that's really nice so you might be seeing this set and think hmm SUV towing a trailer with green and orange little things on the back. You might think that's a bit familiar, isn't it? And if you did, you'd be right. This is the 4433 Dirt Bike Transporter from 2012. Cost $20 just like this one. Came with 201 pieces, a few fewer pieces, four minifigures. And you can see just a few differences. It uses different wheels in both of them, a uh, different style, and I actually think the new one looks a lot better. I mean, they each definitely have their advantages. The old one is bigger in like SUV. It's a bit lower. It's got balloon tires rather than just big wheels. And I mean, they're different purposes. They're really cool. They look good together. They look like they could be two different vehicles sold by the same company. So I might include those in animations. And I mean, they're definitely good companion sets. Uh, from the back, you can see they're totally different designs with that one having an actual lift gate, which the new one sadly doesn't, but I mean, not really much to super complain about, really. Just different designs. The old trailer definitely with a lot more details. But that's, of course, because the dirt bikes were so few pieces and so much smaller than the giant jet skis. So, really, I like the fact that both of these are pretty similar. It would be cool to do an animation, and I might do one, with like a relay race. And honestly, I don't think it's any coincidence that lime green and orange were the two colors of the two opposing teams in the old World Racers series. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I really... So, about this set, I think it's really good. You can see the figures right there have their life jackets back on. They're definitely going to be safe. And, I mean, I really like this set. It's definitely awesome to finally have a black, like, bad guy vehicle. It's kind of a shame that those wheels, there aren't really any ways to substitute those out to be able to use those on other vehicles. And I wish this set had car doors in it, in, like, gray or black. But, again... Not really big complaints, just because it's such a cool set. Uh, I really hope they making these, like, sort of vehicles that you can use as good guy cars and bad guy cars. And, I'm, honestly, I highly recommend this. So anyway, that's about it. Be sure to watch my other reviews of 2014 and other sets. Check out that review playlist and my other animations and things. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time.